uh, welcome to YouTube and uh, today I am going to introduce you to our AWS console uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to enable multi-factor authentication which is MFA and which is a part of IAM which is identity access management in AWS management console so whenever you are using AWS services it is really necessary to you know uh, give a second level of uh, authentication to your AWS account because if you are only using uh, your username and password to log into your AWS account that is the first level of authentication if someone guesses your password he can do everything with your AWS account so if you want to uh, make sure that your infrastructure is secure uh, you must enable a second level of authentication which is a multi-factor authentication uh, using IAM in AWS okay so before we proceed I hope you have subscribed to our channel if you have not subscribed please subscribe okay so we are going to learn how to do that so I, as I can see I am logging with a and also remember you should never log in with your root user unless you are uh, doing some administrative level of tasks so you don't need to uh, log in with your root user if you are doing some normal admin level tasks like normal tasks like you know uh, working with EC2 instances or S3 bucket okay so all you have to do is uh, you just have to create a second user who, who is able to perform most of your actions okay so you should always use a different user other than a root user so I have already enabled the MFA for my root user and I have to take help from a, a, a device which generates the password so we are going to see the same how you can do that okay so I am logging this is this is how the MFA work this is the second level of authentication that you have to provide uh, so if someone even guesses your password he will not be able to log into your account unless he has your own device and code okay so you can see i have logged into my uh, my console which is a management console so if i go to iam i can see that so i i iam is for identity access management where you can create users groups roles and other security stuff okay so you can see here it should uh, these two stuff should are the recommendation from aws so root user must have mfa which provides security for the root user and they should not have an active access keys so these two must be checked so so now what i'm going to do is i am going to do the same for my another user and uh, you can do the same for your root user okay so I have this second user which is created so what I'm going to do is I am going to show you how to uh, add and uh, activate MFA okay so once you click on activate MFA device uh, you you get this screen and here you get three options one is the virtual MFA device so which is I am going to use okay so you can also use security key and other uh, hardware token but we are going to use this uh, so just give it a name like uh, my MFA okay something like that too so it's, it's na the name is your choice so you just use virtual MFA so what it will do is it will allow you to uh, okay so when you click next so we have a list of compatible applications that you have to install on your mobile device once you do that uh, you will have a code generated on that that you can use for MFA okay so if you click on this it is it will show you a list of applications that can provide you this this thing okay so for if you are using iOS you have this duo mobile or Google Authenticator so I mostly use these two applications so these are available on both Android and iOS so what do you have to do so I have installed Duo Mobile in my uh, uh, iOS device okay so you have to install that so remember uh, 
before proceeding from here uh, go to your mobile and download duo mobile from your app store once that is downloaded what you have to do is you have to come back to identity access management console and here you have to click on uh, on the duo mobile you have to click on plus symbol and then uh, you have to uh, uh, click on okay so once you do that uh, click on uh, add account and then use click on use QR code okay and here you have to click on show QR code and then you have to scan your uh, your QR code from your mobile and that will automatically come in your in your mobile and you have to click on save okay so once it is done what you can do is uh, you can now you have to enter two codes generated from your mobile consecutive code okay so click on show passcode on your mobile and just type the code that you see on your mobile device okay so once you enter you have to click uh, you have to wait for like uh, the code refreshes every 30 seconds so this is my first code and then i'm going to enter my second code which is uh, coming right away so i have seven seconds left okay so yeah so this is my second device second code so i'm going to enter it let me see if it works so this is my second code and i will click on assign mfa okay so yeah so click on uh assign mfa yeah so it's saying multi-factor i could not verify that the code that you entered is not valid okay so okay let me try one more time so i'm going to enter my first code here as uh, 7929099 this is my first code and we wait for the second code from your mobile so it is coming right away okay so it is 346022 okay so now you have to click on assign mfa it is still saying invalid okay uh i'm really sorry i think i'm entering the code from a different account okay so again let me try one more time so show so this is my first code two four zero one eight two and now let's wait for the second code so if you are having more than one account in your duo mobile you have to make sure you are choosing the right uh, account for your current mfa so now i'm going to enter my second code okay so it is four one seven seven nine seven okay so let's click on assign mfa and see the virtual MFA uh, is configured so now it will be required when you sign in next time so now if you click on close so you see now this MFA is enabled for this second user right so now what you have to do is uh, you you sign in with this new user okay so I am signing out so this is my account ID I have copied from here or I can take it from here also okay so now I just have to log out from here so since I already have a root user MFA so now I'm going to uh, so you have to check with root user since you have to do with the root user so I'm doing with my second user uh, which is uh, uh, Shankar so it requires you the 12 digit count ID you can take from IM and then you have to enter the username which is uh, Shankar and the password of course you have to remember your password which you have created and creating the user and when you click on sign in it is asking for a second level of authentication which is what 
we have enabled so now if you see now you go to your mobile and get the code from there and now you should be able to log in you see now this is my second user shankar and you see here you can see so now you can see this user is able to log into the console okay so this is the best practice and everyone must uh, follow this you must have a mfa enabled in your root user so just try to do it and if you have any questions you can definitely reach out to me so thank you for watching